Well, good morning. It is very, very early this morning. <sighs> I've got out, I've burlied up, and we're trying to get a snap bar before the sun rises. <sighs> what a mission. All right, so I've got the burly out at the minute. I've got both rods out. Oh, one's getting a bite already. Just got an unweighted muley on that one, and I've got half an unweighted muley on this one with a little bit of a ball sinker just to get the thing down. And uh, yeah, we could be could be in already. There we are. Yep. Oh yeah. Straight away. First drop. I've gone back to an old spot that I've uh, it's been a while since I've been back here. I slightly vaguely remember it from. Oh, come on. Oh, ah, got me. Had a real light leader on that and just snapped, so it was a good fish too. But, anyways, that's, that's fishing. <laughs> uh, plan today, the weather's going to be really good. It's meant to be really good. It's a bit rough at the minute. Uh, but it should just calm off. So as soon as that sun comes up, I reckon she'll die off. Uh, it's meant to be glass later. So I want to stay out all day. I've got a full tank of fuel. Um, yeah, and I want to check out all these spots that I've marked out on Navionics. And I really want to, yeah, just check if they're going to be any good or, yeah, worth coming back to, get, uh, to check them out. But for now, I've got the rods in the water. Um, the burley's out. And hopefully we'll get some action soon. So with that unweighted muley, um, if we're in about 10 meters of water, we want to cast out about 10 meters. So as it sinks down, it hits about the bottom at 10 meters. Woo! What the hell is going on with this wind? <laughs> it's not even meant to be here. Oh, well. Now we play the waiting game again. Uh, for those that are all following the channel, just for the, uh, the camping side of things, we're just having a bit of a break at the minute uh, while it's winter getting a few things done to the cruiser and that's why there's a whole lot of uh, videos about fishing at the minute um, but we will get into it the cruiser's probably another couple of weeks off getting done and then um, once that weather starts warming up we'll be out of here again so stay tuned we will get there um, apologies for all the fishing videos <laughs> but uh, yeah definitely just putting, putting something up in between and I love fishing so I can take you along with me Alrighty. We'll go a bit softer on this one. It's only small, whatever it is. A little pinky. At least they're here. Alrighty, little pinky. At least I know they're here now. He released totally fine. Alrighty, let's go again. Baits down. Strike! <laughs> Alright, we might just throw one of these little Vex heads down. See if there's anything hanging around the very bottom of the boat. You never know. We're just gonna leave that about a meter off the ground, just bouncing up and down in the current. And fingers crossed. All right. We're on here. It's nothing massive. That is lunch. Uh, Alrighty, nice little break, see? Geez, what it is he is. Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine centimeter break, see? Pretty far from my my uh, PB, but that is lunch right there. I've brought the, the cooker with me, so I'm gonna cook this guy up, make some wraps out of him later. 
riding this wind dies down. <laughs> okay, bit of a dilemma. <laughs> the anchor is completely locked onto the ground. I can't loosen it. I've tried everything going around. Heaps gone, yeah, all different ways. Oh, yeah, the sand is all lit up. Uh, we might just chuck that bait down. <laughs> all right, well, I still haven't got that anchor sorted yet. We're still, <laughs> still locked to the ground. I'm just gonna have to cut the rope. I've tried absolutely everything. I've tried every angle, uh, short rope, long rope. It's just not happening. So I'm gonna have to cut it. I've marked the GPS coordinates. I hate leaving things in the ocean, that's for sure. So I've marked the GPS coordinates. My mate who's a diver, he, he said he'll go and uh, fish it out for me at another day. Uh, run the risk now, because there is a bit of swell about uh, today. Run the risk if the motor doesn't start, then we'll be in all sorts of trouble. But for now, I'm gonna have to cut that anchor line. And uh, yeah. All right. Anchor line cut. That's so annoying. <laughs> oh well. Can't do much about it. If it gets stuck, it gets stuck. It's as simple as that. <laughs> we have reached our destination. It's quite the hike to get here. <laughs> probably only a couple seconds for you guys. But it's probably about uh, probably half an hour to get here. Just checking out this ground. I'll show you. Doesn't look too bad. We'll uh, find a, a good little ridge and we'll try and drift over it. Something we're following that up then. Shit fish. I love this shit. I could do this every day. Camping and fishing. Ball driving. Oh. Hopefully, the channel takes off. <laughs> Little break, see, he's not suffering any barrage trauma, so he can go down. Yep, down he goes. The sun eventually came out and the wind died off. It turned into a magic day. So I punched it out to the outside of the reef edge. The ground was good, but it was very, very quiet on the fish front. They were all over the sounder, but nothing was biting. Something I've noticed quite a lot when the winds are coming from the north northeast. With it being so quiet, I decided to fill it up the brake sea and have some lunch. Alright, two fillets. Break sea card. All done. Oh, we are on. There we go. He's come to join his buddy. I don't know what to do with him yet. I don't know whether to keep him or. I don't know whether to keep him or put him back. He's not suffering barotrauma, so. He's fitting, he's fitting healthy. He got, he's not suffering any kind of barotrauma whatsoever, so he can go back. Thanks, buddy. Off he goes. Into the abyss. Thank you. 
Tongs. Do you like my little cute little tongs? Alrighty. Let's hear these sizzle. Hopefully they stay there. Perfect wrap size. While they're cooking, get the wraps going. Ah. You like me little freak? Alrighty. The prepping table. Bit of mayo. Spread that shit on there. Probably should have kept that bloody... <laughs> that last one. Oh well. He lives to swim another day. Yeah, that happened. Bit of lemon pepper. Lemon. Don't be shy on that. Um, cool. Put in there for now. Cheese. Nothing beats fresh, fresh fish, especially caught only a couple, couple of hours ago. Probably should have grabbed that other guy. Anyway. Alrighty, how are we cooking? This cooker is a very, very slow cooker. Chuck this in. That looks and smells. It's funny you guys could smell this right now. Uh, we'll turn that off. Because they'll cook, the rest of it will cook but as it cools down. Um, chuck them in there. Bit of lettuce. Not too much. Topped off with a swanny. Oh, the one two combo is just perfect. Mm. Break sea cod is just amazing, especially fresh like this. Mm. That's good. Cheers, guys. All right, this is gonna be my last drop. One little fish for the day kind of sucks. <laughs> oh well, got to cook up out in the boat. It was a beautiful day. Still no complaints. I love when the weather is like this. It just does something to me in here, eh? Um, like, subscribe if you haven't already. If for some reason some miracle fish decides to jump on my line before, uh, before I get back, I'll let you know. <laughs> uh, but if not, we'll catch you again very shortly. Uh, the cruiser vid will hopefully be up in the next couple of weeks. Two or three weeks, yeah. And then we're off to camping again. Woo! Love it. Alright guys, we'll see you again soon. Cheers. G'day guys. New to Blissneaks, we have our t-shirts available from medium to extra large. These are screen printed to last longer and are super comfortable. If you'd like to support our channel, hit us up on Instagram, Blissneaks. $45 plus postage. Cheers.